Hello Vegan Prism and today once again we are in Bowl, the only vegan eatery in the islands of Malta and Gozo and today we have with us here Lajizar, the only vegan bodybuilder of Malta. Hi Lajizar, how are you? I am fine, thank you. That's good, that's good. And today we are going to talk about his road into competitive bodybuilding. First and foremost, tell us tell something about yourself. Um, so I'm Bulgarian, I just turned 24. I'm doing a degree in uh, exercise for health, oh, okay. bachelor's of science. Um, I've worked as a personal trainer as well, and I'm uh, basically a men's physique competitor. All right, okay. And you said you're from Bulgaria. Yes. What, what brought you to our island? Um, basically, uh, when I was nine years old, my, my parents went through a divorce, and I came here with my mom. All right, okay, fair enough. And how how... How do you find, do you like Malta in general? Or? Yes, yes, I've gotten used to it. In the beginning it was a bit difficult because uh, uh, the culture is quite different. Uh, I didn't know the language here either, so it was a bit difficult in the beginning, but now I'm absolutely fine with it and I quite, quite enjoy it here. Yes, sometimes when you have a, a culture change like that, it's sometimes best to have it. The younger you are, it's sometimes the easier it gets. Yeah. Um, uh, what um, what what drove you towards uh, veganism? What was your your aim? Um, I better start with vegetarianism first. Um, when I was thirteen, when I turned thirteen, my mom basically told me that I can do my own choices. So I was long. Uh, I just I really wanted to go vegetarian for a while, but when I turned thirteen, my mom told me, "Okay, you're old enough now. You can make your own decisions about food." That's very good. And you know, I turned vegetarian. As soon as I turned 13, basically. Um, what what kick started that 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 idea? Well, uh, it was uh, mainly because of the animals. I eh? I mean, I knew that chicken was coming from a chicken, you know. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. And I didn't just want to feel as if I'm like a contrib contributor to um, killing those animals. That's very good. That's very good. Yes, yes. Uh, so you were immediately like you you knew what you were eating from, from a very young age. Yes, of course, and I didn't want to be a contributor. I knew I wasn't going to make a big difference, and I knew that, you know, my 13-year-old mind knew that most vegetarians are skinny, and then you are probably going to be skinny for life. Yes, yes. But I was like, okay, I can deal with that, you know, like as long as I'm not really harming anyone else yes, yes. in the process. Yes, um, that's that's very true for a lot of people. When they make the connection, it's like a, a natural a natural next step. Um, and how did your uh, road towards bodybuilding begin? Well, that, that's uh, quite a few years later. I better tell you how I went to vegetarian first. Yes, uh, yes, vegan. vegan yes. Um, I basically I kept being a vegetarian for like wait, for nine years. Yeah, mm -hmm. nine years. Mm -hmm. And two years ago, basically, I turned vegan, and it was mainly because I was already bodybuilding, and I, the supplements were basically too expensive here in Malta, so I couldn't really afford, it, you know, wasting a hundred euros plus a month for supplements. But then all, all of a sudden, you know, one day my protein powder had finished. It happened to be a weekend, and I went to Holland and Barrett, and mm -hmm. I found a vegan protein supplement. I'm like, okay, okay. give this a try. Fairly reasonably priced, you know, and, and I basically turned vegan straight off. Okay, I knew I was gonna go vegan, but I'm a student, I couldn't afford yes, yes, for the time yes. being, but okay, if they made them cheap now, I can go vegan sooner, right? Yes. So that's how I went vegan two, two years ago now. Alright, and uh, two years now? Yeah. Okay, and when did you start um, building your body? Oh, that's about seven years now. About seven years. So you you had you had um, you were building your body in, in a, uh, vegetarian a vegetarian style. Diet, yeah, but I've never eaten meat when I was bodybuilding. Basically. Yes, so yes, yes, yes. And yeah, then it's like when you realized you could you could sustain it also with veganism because uh, the proteins yeah. weren't that expensive. Here you sort of took the next natural step. Yeah, of course. I knew I was gonna take it eventually when I get to work, but they made it cheaper sooner, so. Are the supplements uh, a big part of your training regimen? Uh, not really, I would say so. All right, okay. So you feed that just by the food you, but it's, you take? it's something, you know, we bodybuilders, we try and optimize everything. And, you know, if you have a little edge somewhere here and there, yes. you, you would try and 
get that way. It's it's constant. It's not that it's a big, big edge, but it's an edge anyway. So yeah. Yes, yes. Um, uh, since you're a vegan and a bodybuilder, how how are you seen in the bodybuilding community? How would they? Are you uh, seen differently just because you're a vegan um, bodybuilder? Most people don't realize I'm a vegan bodybuilder. They generally just tell me, oh, you look, you look great, you look, you look quite muscular, you know, and I don't really bring up the fact that I'm, I'm, I'm vegan because yes, I don't really yes, think yes, that yes. it's like... It shouldn't make a difference. It's, it's not something that, you know, it's, it's holding my progress, in, in my opinion, so I don't really bring it up unless somebody actually asks, you know, like, what do you eat? Then I tell them, like, chickpeas, lentils, <laughs> they're like, really? You thought you eat? Chicken breast and rice all day, no? Yes, yes, yes. And and that takes me to, to another question because you look really, really good and you're obviously very well built. Do you use any steroids in, in your in your? Um, no, so far I've been all natural. So that's very good. That's very I've, good. Whatever I've built so far, it's it's been all natural. But uh, maybe in the future, who knows? I will take the next step. Yes, yes. but so far, so look at far, that. Man. Don't ever say where do you get your protein. He's a bodybuilder, plant power, one hundred percent. What is uh, your typical eating plan um, before and in the time frame of, of uh, your competitions? What do you eat? In general? Um, I can tell you what I eat on the off season because usually when I'm preparing for a competition, it will be changing every week, so I can okay. actually tell you. The, the eight week plan. No, no, we're obviously change. talking in short, like, in general, like uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll tell you. Um, so, basically, in the morning, I'll have some oats with um, some sort of berries, okay. uh, generally cherries because they are low in glycemic index. I'd have a bit of fructose and let's say two scoops of protein powder and some soy milk. Mm -hmm. That would be a good breakfast for me. Um, I have six me seven meals a day actually, and you know, that's a lot of bodybuilding. I go in the off season. I go up to like four thousand five hundred calories, which All is right. quite. That's the off season, you yeah. said. On, on the off season, of course, we tailor down to like let's say three thousand. When I'm losing fat uh, and trying to get as ripped as possible. Yes, yes, yes. Um, but I would eat a lot of uh, seitan. I don't like tofu. Tofu has a lot of fat generally. <laughs> Although it seems it's a good protein source, it has a lot of fat as well. I prefer seitan. Um, I do eat, can I mention brand names here? Um, ideally, ideally not. Okay, uh, so I, I do eat uh, fake chicken. Can I yes, yes. Uh, that way? Oh, um, what's the word? Uh, mock meat. Yes, mock meat, that's the word, yes. yes. Yeah, that are generally quite low in fat though and uh, high in protein, let's say. Um, what else? I do eat a lot of lentils, chickpeas, uh, quinoa. I think it, from what you're saying, for the most part, you try to stick to a whole food diet. You don't, you don't yes. eat a lot of processed yes. food. Yes, from but, what uh, I mean, the Satan is processed egg in, in and yes, of itself. Yes, 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 yes. But yes, yeah, yes. mainly um, I try to stick to whole foods. Yes, yes. And uh, from your experience, um, how do you think a plant-based lifestyle gives athletes the, uh, the edge? Because earlier you mentioned that as competitors, you always try to look for the edge. Um, what do you think a plant-based lifestyle is the competitive edge that it gives you? Well, I wouldn't say we have anything per se more than uh, what meat eaters do. I, I'd say we, we stay a bit leaner generally in the off-season. Um, eating a lot of berries and whatnot, they, they have uh, anti-inflammatory uh, properties, so they will give you an edge in terms of recovery, so you can train quicker. Uh, as in, like, you can recover quicker from yes, yes, workouts yes. and to basically train more frequently to greater intensity, ultimately making more gains. Yes. So, yeah, that's, I mean, that's probably it. Staying leaner and having a depth of recovery benefit, as well as, of course, not getting uh, all kinds of non communicable diseases <laughs> like cancer. And whatnot, yes, yes, that. yes. Those should go, those should go without. Without saying. Um, um, now, for those of you who don't know, Lashes are here, uh, came third in a competition which was, uh, tell us where that was the competition? Uh, the competition was in St. Julian's and uh, Corinthia. Uh -huh. um, it was basically the Battle of 2019, it's a national competition. 
and bodybuilding and of course my categories men's physique told us and they came there in that that's video. very good that, that's very good there is, is a very good place and what if you had to say like in two years where, where do you see yourself in the next couple of years in terms of fitness where do you want to get that's very tricky because it really depends on what route they take if i keep keep being natural for now I don't really see myself placing, let's say, first, but if I decide to take another route, you know, and start using some substances, I might be, you know, things happen very quickly, so yes, I yes. might be even on an international level very quickly, but that really depends on the route I decide to take, which for now, sticking to natural, so yeah. Yes, 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 understandably, yes. Um, in terms of uh, workouts, um, if you had to pick one, that is like, this is my favorite workout to do. Do you have one? No, not really. I, I mean, I do like training arms and upper body in general, but uh, arms, chest, I don't know. But I don't like training lower body a whole lot, <laughs> but I mean, I wouldn't say that I have a particularly favorite workout now. Alright, okay. Well, do you have one which you like? Oh man, today is this, this workout, a good one. Which yeah, you generally like this. Leg days, yeah. yes, yes, <laughs> it's very common actually to hear that. Um, um, and food-wise, do you have uh, do you have like a favorite food? Um, should I mention that I was anorexic when I was sixteen? All right. And I've lost my anticipation for food whatsoever. So no, not really. I don't. I see food as a source to get me to my goal and as a fuel for my body. Which essentially that's what it is. Yes. Essentially, that's what it is, but most people don't really see it that way. Yes, yes, it's very, very good, very well, very well. But yeah, so I don't really have a favorite food. I would eat very bland food. I don't even season my food. I would eat like, uh, let's say, boiled quinoa lentils and chickpeas, just boiled, you know, and I'll just eat them very bland food. I don't really care a lot. I'm not gonna say I prefer them like than eating a vegan burger. Let's say, of course, not. Yes. But would it be like a deal breaker for me? No. Alright, okay, so it's literally food for you, it's like going to the gas station and uh, much, yeah. filling up. Uh -huh. <laughs> Alright, that's a good way of saying it. Um, and to our viewers who are, maybe you have some of them who are thinking about uh, going into this road, uh, being vegans, um, or even others who are non-vegans but want to go vegan in terms of bodybuilding, um, is there some advice you would give them? Well, I mean, um, research the topic very well before you start. I mean, you have to know some fundamental basic uh, strategies in terms of like building muscle, both be it training, be it nutrition, whatever the case may be, you know, like well, training, nutrition, and recovery, which are the main three pillars, you know, when it comes to bodybuilding. Um, so you have to research them well. Keep in mind that it's a slow process. It's a marathon, not a sprint, so yes. you cannot see results, but they're going to take time. So you have to be super patient. Um, don't expect you know to gain I don't know ten kilos in three months of muscle and be like okay it's not gonna happen unless you're using some stuff. Yes, yes. yes, yes. Um, yeah. So basically research it well, take it easy, step by step, you know. And you have to do it passionately. I mean, if you don't have a passion for this, it's a it's a lifestyle. Generally. Yes, it's like yes. A third it's a job. lifestyle. Yes. Because yes. I mean, I'm I'm in the kitchen half a day, you know, cooking my meals, eating my meals. You know, it's, it takes a big portion of your day getting your eight, hour, eight hours plus of sleep. It's how long two, hours training of training two hours of training? Two hours. I would train six times a week. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's definitely a life. I mean, anything, anything uh, where you want to become high in quality, that you have to basically turn it into your life and the passion. Mm -hmm. So uh, that wraps us up for today. Um, thank you, Lachizar, and wish you best of Pleasure. luck for the future. Leave your comments and ideas in the comment sections below. And thank you for joining us, and we'll catch you on the next one. Ciao.